Hello everyone, and welcome back to a whole new Sabbath School study this quarter. My name is Pastor Bob, and I just want to say thank you for joining us for another Sabbath School nugget. This quarter's lesson addresses what has to be, as C.S. Lewis once pointed out, one of the most difficult issues for Christianity and the Bible to address, that being the issue of pain and suffering. This issue of pain and suffering has often left us asking questions such as, why do bad things happen to good people? Or where is God when I'm hurting? Or does God even care when I'm suffering? But maybe the greatest question we can ask is this, does everything happen for a reason? And if so, how does pain and suffering fit into God's great plan for our life? And maybe the answer to that question lies in this idea of a crucible. A crucible is an object that is used to expose metals to a high heat so that the metal can be melted, purified, and then transformed into something completely new. This idea is not new to Scripture, where Christians are called to be gold, tried, or purified by fire. As we read in Isaiah 48.10, where God tells Israel, I have refined you and tried you in the furnace. Or we read in Job 23, where Job says that God has tried him as gold. I love this from Proverbs 17.3. The crucible is for silver, and the furnace is for gold, and the Lord tests hearts. You get the point. God is referred to in Scripture as the one who refines his people. That God uses the crucibles of life, which can include, among other things, pain and suffering, as a means to refine and transform the saints. Make no mistake, there is nothing like pain and suffering to get our attention, to test our faith, to reveal our hearts, and in the end, purify us and transform us into somebody new. And in this lesson, we're going to find out that God is not the author of pain and suffering, but He is the master of using our pain and suffering to cause all things to work together for our good. We're also going to find out that at some point, that everybody suffers. Jesus actually said in John 16, in this life, you will have trials and trouble. Make no mistake, if you live on planet Earth, pain and suffering will come your way. As a matter of fact, not even the Son of God Himself could escape pain and suffering while on planet Earth. Yet the Bible says He endured all of this for a joy that was set before Him. And that joy was our salvation. And in this quarter's lesson, we're going to learn to keep our eyes on Jesus, who experienced pain and suffering, so that we too can learn not only how to endure, but to allow God to use the crucibles of suffering to transform us into somebody brand new, somebody like Jesus. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so looking forward to studying this quarter's lesson with you. Now, study your lesson, and I'll see you tomorrow.